All right, hi guys. I figured I'd give you a quick rundown because you're going to be having a quiz on seasons as well as time, either tomorrow or on Thursday. So I figured I'd give you a little uh, review for you so you can uh, get an understanding of what's expected. First off, it's a 20 question quiz and uh, it's worth 20 points, uh, at least as the, at this point, it's going to be a 20 point quiz. So anyway, um, most of the questions are multiple choice. The first 13 questions are all multiple choice. The last half are, um, the last seven are all um, short answer. So just to kind of give you a rundown on what the quiz looks like. As far as uh, studying for this thing and what's going to be on there, let me just give you a couple of quick quick tips. Um, from the main page of the bulletin board, you can get to my, my textbook, the online textbook. Specifically, if you want to read through something that would be really helpful for this quiz, it would be this section 4.2 called the seasons in the textbook. Um, we covered all of this content pretty much in class, talking about it with your lab, as well as some, some notes that we took. Um, so this, this is basically the big message behind this and specifically understanding that the tilt of the earth is what causes the seasons uh, throughout the year. The fact that we're revolving around and we're tilted toward the sun or away from the sun, depending upon um, the season. Okay, and winter would be when the North Pole is tilted away and summer would be when it's tilted towards it. So that's one of the major concepts there that's located in this chapter. And you can read through that and understand that a little bit from that. Okay, the other thing that we're covering and we did cover in class uh, was this section. You read this section, at least you were supposed to, uh, and just understanding the difference between what's called a solar day and a sidereal day, okay? And a solar day is essentially the fact that we rotate around and the sun is back to where it was originally in the sky. So I think solar day is all about the sun. <clears throat> a sidereal day is relative to the stars. So if we uh, consider like a drawing like this, the fact that the earth is here, okay, and it rotates around once. Okay, so let's say this position, we're looking at the stars that way. When it rotates all the way around, and comes back to that spot again, that's called a sidereal day. Now, a sidereal day is actually less than a solar day. A sidereal day takes 23 hours and uh, 56 minutes, okay? But a solar day has to do with the fact that not only are we rotating, but we're revolving around the sun at the same time. So it actually takes a little bit more to get to that 24 hours, a solar day, solar day is equal to 24 hours okay so we took some notes on this in class and if you want to check these notes out for those of you that are remote um, obviously this section of the textbook would be helpful but also just go to class documents and there's really two sets of notes that we were, are referring to here so go to notes and take a look at the notes on both seasons this one right here as well as time and seasons and I have that popped up here. So this uh, is something that we covered in the classroom. And uh, specifically at the end of this, there's a couple of questions um, at the end of this that would be helpful. This fact that the sidereal day and the solar day are different leads to the fact that stars rise four minutes earlier each day, okay? So if you have a question, you might get a question like this where, you know, what time will it rise tomorrow night if it's a star? Well, it'll be four minutes earlier, so 7.56. You might have a question like this where it says, okay, this many months later, three months later, well, that's about 90 days times four minutes per day. That's six hours if you do the math. And that's six hours less. So six hours from this seven o'clock PM would be one o'clock PM. So that's something we, we covered in class. And you're going to see a question like that on the quiz as well. Okay. So uh, just note the difference between uh, solar day and sidereal day and how that relates to the stars. And then every other question is kind of related to um, questions regarding the seasons. Now, just to give you a good, good heads up, this packet, I'm going to put this right on um, online. This packet's got a bunch of questions in it. It's, I mean, like, like 200 plus questions in here that I pulled a few from, especially at the end. There's some uh, good short answer questions regarding uh, the fact that the, the Earth is going around the sun and sometimes the North Pole is tilted towards the sun. Sometimes it's tilted away. Uh, so you might see some diagrams like that and, and just getting um, your, your head around that. 
Um, one in particular, I, I just want to point this out. Maybe I'll do this on the whiteboard here. Let me just erase uh, what I have. So if you consider the Earth, okay, there's the Earth, and let's say that this side over here is shaded, okay, so you can see it's like half shaded, and uh, that would mean that the sun is located somewhere over here. The sun is over here, not the scale, obviously, okay, shining on the Earth, and this side is lit up. Right here in the middle, that time is noon, okay right where it's in the middle of the day. That's the middle of the solar day. Um, if you were to consider this looking at it from above, this is Earth from above, the Earth rotates counterclockwise like that. So this would be the morning over here, right, where we're transitioning from night to day. And this would be the evening from day to night. Okay, so this would be morning. I'll write it down here. And this would be evening over here okay so note that that difference every 15 degrees equals one hour so you might get a picture like this where it's a bunch of divisions in here that are all 15 degrees apart you should be able to figure out what time it is all along this entire globe based upon that so that kind of goes along with the time idea you'll definitely see a diagram like that related to that okay so that's one i just wanted to point out to you um and i think most of the other questions are kind of you know, related uh, to some of the concepts that you'll see uh, within this packet, within um, what you, we just went over in notes. And uh, definitely, I'll, I'll put this on there. I'll give you a link to this. Uh, it should be when, you, when you're looking for this, look under class documents and specifically under class documents, go to uh, homework slash worksheets, uh, this link right here, and you'll see that uh, in there. And I'll, I'll just call it, um, seasons review okay and if you have any questions about anything or need any help with anything uh, don't hesitate to ask and uh hope you, get, hope you guys are doing all right